Hey guys, it's Tammy, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're gonna be testing the new Fenty Beauty concealers. I was lucky enough to receive the PR package, so I got like foundation, concealers, powders, and also the brushes, but I'm just gonna be focusing on the concealers today. And I'm also gonna be showing you guys the Revolution Banana Deep Powder. I have already used it on the Revolution page, but I'm gonna use it here just in case you guys wanna see me use it. So let's just go ahead and get started. Now first, I recommend if you're going in with the Fenty a beauty foundation to definitely use a hydrating moisturizer and also a hydrating primer because it is a matte foundation now the only problem with this foundation is i can't find my exact match i definitely think i'm more of a neutral olive undertone but all of the foundations around my shade are like warm or orange or too yellow so i did get the pr package like i said and they sent me the shade they sent me four shades they sent me 350 380 385 which I believe is a new shade and also the shade 400. Now when Fenty Beauty first came out I did go ahead and purchase the foundation in the shade 390 but when I came home and tried it it was just way too orange and I just never used it again. I love the finish and the longevity of the foundation but the shade just definitely wasn't for me especially in real life because I know cameras and lights washes things out and sometimes it looks like oh that's a perfect match but when you're standing in natural daylight and you're like damn I look orange so when I was sent these new shades I was super excited to kind of find my match but once again I don't think I have one so I did go ahead and try 385 which is the new shade I went ahead and tried this first because I thought that would be a perfect match for me but as it oxidizes by the way this foundation does oxidize so if you are going to buy it make sure you swatch it and then let it dry and then when it oxidized I was like oh my gosh my boyfriend was like you look so tan today I was like yeah and then the shade 380 is actually like a pink undertone and I'm definitely not a pink undertone. So the next day I went ahead and tried the shade 350 which is the other shade that they sent me and once this oxidizes because when I first saw this I was like it's too light it's way too light but um, as it oxidizes it is kind of my shade but still it's, it's a bit yellow it's a bit warm. So I've taken out my Revolution Pro foundation drops in the shade 13.5 and as you can see this has that kind of neutral olive undertone so and this one matches me pretty well in the summer um so if i i think if i mix these i should get my perfect kind of match i'm hoping and then what i thought was weird was the concealers are like a different color to the actual foundation so for example the shade 385 i hope you guys can see that but 385 foundation is super warm um and then the free 85 concealer get my words together is like a neutral undertone and funny whoa nearly slapped myself in the face funny enough the concealer actually matches my skin tone pretty well so i'm gonna do a swatch here so the concealer has a really nice undertone for my skin tone anyway so if i like blended it in it would be like the perfect foundation shade but i'm gonna go ahead and swatch the uh foundation over here so you guys can see so as you guys see the difference like this is the concealer and then this is the foundation and this only gets more orange as time goes on it's like such a warm undertone i wish it was more neutral like the concealer but um yeah so here we have 350 foundation and it is like i said it's not a perfect match for me it is really light but once it oxidizes it's the best that i have and then the 350 concealer from fenty is a really nice brightening shade for underneath my eyes so so far i don't have a match in fenty um so i hope you guys can see that oxidizing is just getting orange and orange and orange but i'm so confused because the concealer is such a nice neutral undertone so so what I think I'm going to do today is mix 350 with the Revolution Pro foundation drops and use this kind of as like a darkening um, drop. So what I'm going to do just to show you guys is do 385, a fresh swatch of it right up here. So you guys can see this is how it looks when it first goes on and then this is one and this is not even fully dry yet this is still drying down and it's just so much darker i'm sorry for this long intro if you guys already have a match in fenty then definitely skip ahead to the actual concealer review but um i just thought it was interesting to let you guys know if you are looking for me uh, my if you are looking to me for a shade match I don't have one girl like i said 385 concealer matches me really well but the foundation so first i'm going to go in with this moisturizer this is new from elf it's their hello hydration face cream and like i said if you are using this foundation i definitely recommend hydrating your face a lot 
So next I'm gonna go into the Revolution Hydrate Primer. This is kind of new from Revolution as well. This is just to add extra hydration. I believe both of these products have hyaluronic acid, which are good for, you know, moisturizing the face. I'm gonna go in with the Fenty foundation first and just squeeze that onto my face once again this is the shade 350 we're going in with the revolution pro foundation drops in the shade 13.5 and i'm just going to quickly blend this in don't worry the fenty does oxidize so once it does it should match me really well see it's already matching really nice now I did receive the Fenty Beauty um, powders. I got the shade Honey and also Hazelnut, but I tried Honey in an Instagram video and it was just too dark for underneath my eyes. This is more like an all over face powder for me. Hold on, let me open it for you. I think I definitely would have preferred like a banana shade. This is even deeper than um, Sash Sasha. <laughs> Sasha Buttercup. This is not a buttercup shade this is more like a terracotta shade so let me show you guys against banana deep from revolution this is what they look like here we have huda beauty kanafa and uh, fenty beauty honey so it's deeper than kanafa as well and kanafa i really like for underneath my eyes it has that nice brightening effect without being too yellow and then last but not least uh, ben nye banana powder and honey from fenty so it is darker than everything i usually use it would make a nice kind of setting powder all over the face but as for baking or setting underneath my eyes it did darken my concealer so and then i also got sent the shade hazelnut which is even deeper than honey and this one would definitely make a good all over face powder for me but let me hold them up side by side so this is honey and this is hazelnut okay so it's time let's go ahead and move in with the concealers so like i said the shade 385 is really good for my face so if i want to conceal like any hyperpigmentation or around my mouth anything like that this is a really good shade i'm just going to take my foundation brush and dab that in blends really easy as well and now for under my eyes i'm going in with the shade 350 now i have noticed a lot of people saying this concealer is creaseless um i think the brand itself said it's creaseless but i've noticed creasing with this not bad creasing to the point where i'm like oh my god what's happening underneath my eyes but i have this one deep set crease underneath my eyes i don't know if you guys can see it's just one line right there and this does kind of settle into it um over the over the course of the day so i wouldn't say it's 100 percent creaseless but it is a really nice formula it's got really good coverage and um, the dofa is really nice i would prefer it a bit bigger because i am into bigger um concealer dofoots nowadays definitely applies a good amount so i usually just do like this part of my face down my nose and chin now if you watch my insta tutorials you'll know that i like to blend in my concealer with a brush that's just what i've been doing lately so that's what i'm gonna do now this is the morphe e49 brush and i'm just gonna dab in the concealer starting with the chin and then the nose yeah that's sitting really nice on the nose okay so now i'm gonna go in and blend underneath the eyes I love this shade. It's such a nice brightening shade. So I'm just dabbing that in. I think I'm going to go on top of my eyes as well. Oh, I should have just done one side so you guys can see the difference. But yeah, it blends really easy. The coverage is definitely there and it looks really flawless. It's not the most full coverage concealer that I have. I would definitely say the... Uh, Too Faced Born This Way is more coverage. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this pretty fast. I don't wanna give it a second to crease. So if it does crease later on in the day, you guys will know it's not my fault <laughs> but i hope you guys can see the finish of that concealer honestly it's brightened it's covered it looks flawless it's blended into my foundation beautifully i'm gonna give you guys a close-up before i go ahead and set it so let's zoom in okay so here we are close up and i hope you guys can see just how flawless it is underneath my eyes it's very creamy it sits on the skin really well and even around my nose it's not like separating or breaking up anything like that it looks really good okay so just showing you guys that close 
this up it has already creased underneath my eyes and you know what I found funny the brand is promoting it as creaseless and then Rihanna did her video using it and she was like guys you see this crease right here and I'm like, I thought it was creaseless. <laughs> but you know Rihanna, she can do no wrong. I was just like, yes, baby girl, yes. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put some onto this little surface. I'm gonna take a big fluffy brush, look up into a mirror and just pat that underneath my eyes. I'm not baking today. I'm literally just lightly setting the face because this is usually what I do on like an everyday basis when I'm not glamming myself up, you know, just like an everyday makeup. So I'm also gonna do it around my nose. In between in between my eyebrows I used to love the shade banana back in the days but the more I used it and the more I got to know about makeup it was just very ashy and too light for me so I just stopped using it and I started going for like um, Sasha buttercup and stuff like that but now that revolution have this powder and it's only five pounds and it's such a good yellow yes okay so now that my face is all set the concealer is set I'm gonna go ahead and bronze. Now Revolution also dropped these bake and blot powders. So if you do have dry skin, but you still wanna set your face, you can go in with a light layer of these because they're not as intense as the baking powders. Even though you don't have to bake with the baking powders, you could just do what I did and put like a light layer. These would be better for kind of dry skin. So yeah, they have a banana deep in the pressed version as well, but they also have a deep dark color, which looks like this. So if you are darker skin, you could use this as like a touch up powder or like a setting powder for your whole face but for me I like to use it as like an everyday bronzer it's got a really nice warm tone to it which I like for my bronzer so that's just what I've been doing it's not as intense as my Sunkiss Giant bronzer um, but it is okay for like the everyday bronze by the way these are the double-sided MSQ brushes I told you guys about a few videos ago I've been using it religiously like i absolutely love it it comes in this uh box thing remember i told you and this is what they look like so yeah i've been loving this brush set so i hope you guys can see that color it's a little bit warm a little bit red but i really like that i'm gonna take a little bit of that banana powder and just clean up underneath the contour as well so here we have the bronzer on this side and then no bronzer on this side. So this side is like flat and then you can see this one has a little bit of dimension. I just think, oh, wrong side. I just think for like an everyday bronzer, it's really nice. I also like to take a little bit of that down my nose for contour. Okay, so now I'm gonna take a dab of hazelnut powder. Um, I'm just gonna take a small amount of this and I'm gonna dab this all over my face to kind of blend my contour with my highlight i usually use my mac mineralized skin finish for this step let me stick on this side actually so you can see the difference so here we have the hazelnut powder on this side and then this side has nothing so i don't know if you guys can see that but it's really smoothed my skin so i'm gonna do the same thing to the other side oh can you guys see that color maybe it's a bit too dark what i'm trying to do uh, okay so this is what my face is looking like so far um i really like the finish of my face however i would say you know it is settling into that one crease underneath my eye on both sides so it has creased slightly but it's nothing too dramatic i think i'm okay with it for now so here we are up close and personal and i hope you guys can see what i mean about the crease underneath my eyes like i said it's not too bad but for 19 pound concealer i kind of expect it to crease maybe after at least three hours so if you were planning on wearing this concealer and not setting it i feel like you will get a lot of creases with it because i've set it and it's still a little bit creased it's nothing too bad i'm not complaining about it i'm just letting you guys know so yeah i'm gonna go complete the rest of my face and then i'll come back to show you guys how we're looking okay guys and i'm back so i've gone ahead and finished off the rest of my makeup i did film this look for revolution YouTube channel so if you do want to see how I achieved it I use their brand new uh, reloaded marvelous mattes palette which looks like this if you want me to use it on my channel definitely let me know in the comment section and I will get working on that but so far I'm really happy with the pigmentation I messed up on this eye a little bit because I was using their cut crease canvas um, their new concealer thing to cut your crease with and because I haven't used it before I wasn't really sure you know what the rules are but I definitely think you should let it dry down before you go 
in with your matte shade on top or your lid shade on top and then on my lips i went in with the revolution prime lip gloss no lip liner and then the i heart chocolate lip gloss in the shade salted caramel so that's what's on my lips now as for this concealer underneath my eyes i think it's sitting really nicely on my skin it definitely has creased like when i first said it creased i wasn't sure but now i'm looking at it it's definitely creased underneath my eye it's definitely so far not i don't i doubt it's gonna get much better but it's definitely not my favorite concealer so far the coverage and the finish is really nice but the way it's creasing underneath my eyes i'm not a fan especially because it's only been like two hours i started doing my face at like 12 30 it's now 2 30 so it's literally been on plus i did that long intro so it's literally been on for like maybe an hour and a half two hours and it's not looking amazing underneath my eyes when you look at my face overall you think okay that's a nice beat you know she's looking glam she's looking cute but as soon as you get up close to my eyes you can definitely see like it's sunk into those fine lines and definitely my big uh, line underneath my eyes so here we are up close and i hope you guys can see that crease in underneath the eyes it's not terrible it's not the worst concealer i've ever tried it's just that one deep set crease underneath my eye it's really sunk into it on hour two so yeah so yeah i'm gonna keep going about my day and then i'll come back to give you guys another checkup okay guys and i'm back so the time is now 702 in the evening so it has been about what six and a half hours since i put this on my face is looking a little bit oily i haven't touched up all day and obviously i would have touched up on a normal day but um i decided not to touch my face today and usually with the fenty foundation my face doesn't get this oily but i think because i mixed it with the revolution pro foundation drops and also i went in with the hydrating primer um it's obviously a lot more dewy than usual but i'm not mad at it i think it looks healthy apart from around my eyebrows i hate oil around my eyebrows but yeah this is not a foundation review this is about the concealer so all that's happened since i left you guys is the crease has gotten deeper <laughs> that concealer has completely like can you see on both sides this side is worse than this side but they're both still creased you know what i mean and for a concealer that claims to be creaseless i'm not impressed it doesn't look that amazing i do feel like it makes me look a bit older underneath my eyes it, i just i have lines that i didn't even know i had i'm a little bit disappointed i really did want to like this concealer you know everybody loves fenty i'm just i don't know what's wrong with me i want to try it again maybe with a different setting powder you know things like this can make a difference you know okay guys so i've zoomed you in so you can see all up in my face um yeah there's nothing more i can say the proof is in the pudding you can kind of see it yourself especially if i like drag down the eye you can see it's like settled into that line deep into that line okay girlie so it is the next day and i have tried the fenty beauty concealer again however today i went in with the laura mercier setting powder and can you guys see the difference i feel like it looks so flawless underneath my eyes i did my makeup at 10 this morning went to a meeting it's now 3 p.m so it's been on for what five hours and not one crease so i felt like i had to come and update you guys i did say i was going to try it again with different products and see how it worked today i went in with the fenty beauty uh, foundation again but i mixed it with the revolution pro conceal and define foundation to get my right shade then i went in with the fenty beauty concealer in 350 and then i set it with the laura mercier translucent loose setting powder just a light dusting of it underneath my eyes like that and yeah this makeup has been on all day like i said and there's no creasing at all it hasn't settled into that line it looks so much better than yesterday so i just thought i'd come on here and update you guys because my review wasn't so great but i'm always happy to accept my um what's the word my mistakes i suppose and yeah give credit where it is due and this concealer is definitely a beautiful concealer however don't use it with the revolution baking powder if you want it to last all day because that crease in yesterday was ridiculous that's my thoughts on it i hope you guys have enjoyed this video i'm gonna go re-edit this video now and add this on to the end and yeah i'll see you guys in my next one take care bye